Hello world, good morning. Welcome back to the Founders and Innovators Morning Show. This is an episode I'm really excited about because I have Danny Forrest who, like me, loves being a polymath and has so many things to talk to us about. But I wanted to dive in and start with your entrepreneurial journey because from what I understand, you've started seven businesses already. So tell us a little bit about how you got into being an entrepreneur and we'll get into even what you're working on now. Yeah, first of all, uh, hey guys, hey Joya. Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been quite the journey. So I'm not, I'm not very old, I'm, I'm 33 years old and I've started seven businesses, which, which sounds absolutely crazy and it probably is. <laughs> so I, I went to, uh, so, so in Quebec we have some kind of college uh, after, after high school, uh, but it's not university. So it's kind of in between high school and, and university and I studied computer programming. Um, I loved it, but I realized that I wanted to work on stuff on my own, work for clients. Mm -hmm. So the first business that I created was uh, when I was 19 years old and I was just building software for other companies. And I had zero work experience when I started that. I, I just had classes, right? And so uh, I wasn't very good in my own opinion, but I was good enough uh, that I was able to do the actual work that clients needed. So, so a lot of people have the, this fear of like starting and not having enough knowledge to start stuff. But since the beginning, I've always been a starter and, and I figured I'd figure it out as mm -hmm. time went by and I did. Uh, so I had the company for three years, uh, and this paid for everything for me. I was working uh, 30 hours uh, a week on this while going to, to school full time as well. So uh, long, long weeks for sure, but it allowed me to pay for everything. Good learning experience too. And then I started a second company with some friends in organizing video game tournaments. So very, very different software, mm -hmm. software development and organizing uh, video game tournaments. At the time, esports was not even a word. Uh, so, video game tournaments were very new. It was a very difficult market. Uh, it was hard to charge a, a large amount of money for people. Uh, so, it was hard for us to give good prices, but without good, good prices, but without good prizes, not many people would come. So, it was a very tough market, and we lasted about a year. Uh, so, I don't remember what company number three and four were. Uh, but company number five is probably the most interesting one here. Uh, it's, uh, it was 10 years ago. Uh, I, was, I was in university at the time in software engineering, and I was pitching this idea to investors. Uh, and I just found uh, last week or two weeks ago this business plan here. Mm -hmm. So this is a 51-page uh, business plan for a, a, a business I called SkillUp. And the, the interesting thing about SkillUp is that the, the company, I, I'm the, the seventh company that I started, mm -hmm. Forest Co., and the product that we're building is SkillUp. <laughs> <laughs> so 10 years ago, I had this idea of taking real world skill development and gamifying it through, through an app, through a website, and that kind of stuff. And so, Back then, again, gamification was not a word, or it was just starting. There were two experts on the subject, but the information was very minimal. And so, so yeah, when I was pitching to investors, I was pitching a lot more than just my business. I was pitching this idea that gamification is going to be big, and obviously I was right, <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and uh, investors didn't really see it at the time so there was one company where uh, one, one investor that was quite interested uh but I, I don't know if it's true but i was sixth sixth in line and mm -hmm. they ran money for for five <gasps> so, i don't know if they were saying that to just like make it easy and easy mm -hmm. for them uh i like to think it's true you know, that they like the idea I, I mean we had a few sessions so they were definitely mm -hmm. interested uh, they weren't sure about the business model because at the time, we, we had no idea who would be paying for, for that. Mm -hmm. So fast forward to, I guess, yeah, 
well, there, there's also a business, two other businesses in between. So mm -hmm. I stopped uh, when I didn't get the funding. So I started my, my video game company uh, called Power Level Studios. And so I've always been passionate about video games. And so I created uh, Power Level Studios to work on my dream game. Mm -hmm. And that was six, six and a half years ago. And I did not realize how long it would take me to release my first game. And, and the funny thing about having this discussion today is that today's the release day <laughs> of that game that I've worked uh, six and a half years on. So big moment for me. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what's going to happen with it, but uh, exciting for sure. Working on the same project for six years. Mm -hmm. uh, people have called me a da dabbler before because I like to try everything. I just mm -hmm. like new things. I try everything. I start different projects. I've probably started hundreds of projects since, since then, but I finished that one. Uh, and for me, that, that's massive. I, I, yeah, it's massive. Mm -hmm. so, so that's the sixth business. Oh, wait. Oh, I know what the fourth is. <laughs> I see. Did we miss one? Yeah, yeah, I know what it is. It was a, a, a Viking, um, it was a boutique uh, online store. Uh, so it was called Viking Boutique. And I was selling Viking accessories and clothing. Mm. And I had that one for six months. So it was a really fun, really fun project. Uh, it was a story-based store. So really nothing that you've ever seen <laughs> in the past. It, uh, and the stories were really good. They were funny and all that stuff. And the ads were working really well. But the problem is people were coming for the entertainment. So mm -hmm. the store was so entertaining that people didn't care for the products we had. Mm -hmm. So they came, they were entertained, and they left. And so it was a terrible uh, business idea, even though that was really fun. And mm -hmm. so, anyway, so back to today. Now that the game is finally done, I can dedicate even more time to Skill Up Academy. Uh, and when I look back at, at the business plan, the crazy thing is it's 80% the exact same idea <laughs> that I had 10 years ago. It's, it's crazy how much you do things in life. You, 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 for, for 10 years, you do so much stuff. You feel like you've changed so incredibly. You learn many things. Your, your, uh, your environment's different. The people you hang out with, all different. And then you look at, you look at this business plan. It's 10 years old. And the ideas are the same. And like, even back then, my, my English was not as good. And, but still like the ideas, the way I wrote them is exactly the same. And that amazes me like 10 years. And at the core, I haven't even changed that much. So yeah, that's kind of like my seven businesses. That's an amazing story. And I can totally relate to so much of what you're saying. And I've had a very similar experience too. I find similar to you, I'm always interested in learning new things, developing. And I know in the past 10 years, you've definitely done a lot in terms of skills, in terms of games. So it's not just that you had this idea 10 years ago and have been sitting around doing nothing. There's definitely been development and improvement and new knowledge, new skills that you've learned. And yet still that core, I find this a very similar thing with me as well, that as much as I learn new things, I look back and I find this through line. I find the ways that I've stayed the same in spite of all of the change. I think it's a really fascinating phenomenon. I'd, I'd love to even hear from more people who've had that kind of experience because I imagine that it's not just you and me, that, that yeah. for people like us who love to continually be learning and developing, that there is a kind of core that emerges. So tell us more about your core. Tell us about what skill up is all about and this basic idea of gamification of skills. Yeah, before we jump into that, I, I want to add to to what you were just saying because I, I read a, a research, a study lately, mm -hmm. and I posted on LinkedIn about it. Um, I think it was two weeks ago where the study says that it concludes that 49% of your traits are actually given to you at birth. Now that amazed me because I guess now I understand more uh, since I read it, but I, I used to think that I'm the product of, of what I worked towards, the things that I've been doing, the things that I've learned and all that stuff. But in reality, 
the conclusion, according to them, is 49% you actually are born with. And so I, I used to not believe in talent. I used to believe that everything could be, could be learned. Uh, and I, I still believe that, but maybe not as easily as I thought. For example, I seem to have picked up writing really easily, uh, much more easily than other people. So in a way, yeah, I guess, I guess it is at my core that I, I have a way with written words. Uh, and so I, I think what this means is that is is not to give up. Like if if you if you haven't you can't have it figured out. Actually, that that's a thing. You have to keep doing it. And it's not that you become that person. It's that you're discovering that person you didn't know you were. And that only happens through doing things. And so that that's why the polymath route for me is, is the way to go because I love writing. I've only been writing for two years. I didn't know I loved writing. I love photography. I learned photography through traveling. I didn't know I would love photography. Like these are things that I do today that I'm really passionate about, that I, I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, maybe not photography, but writing. Do that on a day-to-day -day basis. But if I didn't give myself the chance to try it, I wouldn't be here today. I actually wouldn't be here at all <laughs> recording this, this podcast episode. I totally hear what you're saying. And it's interesting because when you brought up that statistic, I actually had, well, what a question. And then perhaps maybe an opposite reaction to you. Because I mean, first my question was even just by that study, what did they mean as traits? I mean, that's something we probably even have to look into the study and see what exactly they were measuring because traits is just one of those words. It could mean a lot of different things depending even on the researcher. So that's just even a big question. Mm -hmm. But when you said 49%, my first thought was like, oh, it's only 49%. That means that more than half of who you are does come out of the things that you learn and develop and try. And I want to say I absolutely agree with your idea of it comes from trying so many things. I think even this idea I was trying to express about the core that emerges, that it emerges precisely because you try all of these different things and it's through trying all of the different things that you actually realize, wow, here are these few things that actually remain the same. You wouldn't even know that unless you actually tried all of these different things and, and recognize what are the constants. Exactly. So, that's exactly, that's exactly what Skill Up Academy is in the end. It, it's about, uh, it really is about the community of learners. People who realize that there's so much through learning. Learning is, just, is, you can become so much more through learning different skills. I, I became a lot more interesting than I was. I used to be really shy and introverted. Um, I have a lot more energy through all the things that I, that I do on a daily basis. I practice skill learning uh, 30 minutes, three skills every every morning for 30 minutes so that's an hour and a half and and the beauty of this is i get wins right away i get success right away in the day and that gives me so much energy and so much motivation to go through my day i didn't realize that when i started that it would actually do that but it did um but the most interesting is that you learn a lot faster through the more you learn the more the faster you learn because the, these chunks you create in your brain actually works for different skills. If you learn to uh, run, for example, a very simple chunk, if you learn to run, you can apply that to how many sports? 20, 30, 100, right? Mm -hmm. So people don't realize that when you, when you learn things, you don't just learn the thing that you're learning. You're actually learning to create this library of chunks that are applicable to other skills. So when you search, for example, the best way to learn how to play ukulele, which is a skill I'm learning right now, uh, people don't realize that if you search that and you don't succeed, chances are you just don't have the chunks yet that are required to do that. And so holding the ukulele is actually quite challenging, surprisingly, mm -hmm. when you start. And so if you search for how to play, I don't know, over the rainbow, the best way to learn over the rainbow, but you don't even know how to hold the ukulele. Uh, it's gonna be very difficult for you. And you're gonna watch the video and you're gonna, be, you're gonna be thinking that you're not good enough. But in reality, you just didn't get the chunks that were required to do that. So 
Skill Up Academy is about bringing that awareness to, to the learners and connecting them with each other to help uh, learn any skill they want to learn. So we, we support uh, over 400 skills. Uh, so they're very diverse. Uh, there's obviously a ukulele. There's, uh, there's even some pole dancing in there. Uh, it's very, very diverse. Uh, and so we're, we're building a new version of the app, which is going to be, uh, I actually have it here. So I, I created a build yesterday for the first time. Oh, uh, let, let us see. Yeah. So <gasps> you can see it's a lot more visual than uh, mm -hmm. you would expect from a learning thing. Uh, this is very, very early, early thing. I only worked a, a, a week on that. Uh, but what I think is interesting here is there's a commit board here. Very, very simple. You can see what people have committed to uh, practicing or studying for the day. So hmm. very, very simple concept. But what's, what's great about it is it inspires people. It inspires people to see, oh, other people are learning programming. Maybe that's something I could do. Maybe I'm going to tap on their profile. I'm going to chat with them. I'm going to ask them, hey, uh, how did you learn? What, what's your learning process? I... Or, or, or the opposite. I know how to, I'm a good programmer. Do you want to, do you want some help? So I think there's this community of people helping each other and, and keeping them accountable. I think that's going to be really powerful. I can't wait to see what it becomes. So unfortunately, we're already almost out of time, but tell people, I guess, first, if they want to find more about your new game that just launched, and then obviously about Skill Up too. How can people find out more and get involved? Yeah, so the game is called Soul Reaper, S-O-U-L, not S-O-L-E, so <laughs> Soul Reaper. Uh, so it's out on Steam on PC. And so if you search for it, you might want to do Soul Reaper game. Uh, it's actually a pretty competitive uh, set of words. Uh, and Skill Up Academy, well, we're releasing a prototype Q1 of this idea. So what, it, what I showed you, basically, uh, mm -hmm. so end of Q1, I think. We'll see, maybe before, not sure. Uh, so that one is killup-academy.com. Excellent. So I know I'm definitely gonna join because I have so many skills that I wanna learn and I can't wait to see who I'm even gonna meet in this community. Exactly, me too. Well, thank you so much for being here, Danny, and I can't wait to see how all of this is gonna develop. Thanks for having me. Bye everybody, hope you're all off to an excellent morning. Thanks for joining us today. Please don't forget to subscribe, review, and share this show. If you'd like exclusive content and behind-the-scenes insight, for just $4 a month, you can support us at buymeacoffee.com. Now, go make it a great day! Call me one.